And what do you think the problem here is? Blue newborn, many possibilities. Could be cyanotic heart disease. The big four are. The tetralogy of the fallow. Tetralogy of fallow, tricuspid atresia, transposition of the great vessels, total anomalous venous return. Or the possible fifth, persistent truncus arteriosus. Excellent. You missed one there. Right, let's play. Price for the winner. What else can go wrong near the truncus anteriosus? Coarctation. Treatment of which is? Come on, come on. Excision with end-to-end -end anastomosis, or left subclavian flap, or patch aortoplasty. Unless, of course, we're talking about recoarctation, which can occur later on, in which case balloon dilation angioplasty has been shown to be effective. Have a winner. Did you do a special paper on that? I had a friend who had arctic arctation. Well, your prize is the privilege of delivering to my office a double espresso, bacon sandwich, brown sauce, white bread. Better be quick, then. May I'll be gutted if you miss this house meeting she's arranged. Don't worry. I'll be there. Come. Oh, well, lovely. Pop it on there, will you? Are you talking? Right. Here we go. This year's first grape. Grapes. And she is now one of this country's top neurologists. Frances Lively. She works over at St James's. Right, that's enough. Hang on, I put that back. No, come, no, come no, on. That come was on. my mum. I'm hey, sure that was. Hey, careful! Right down, it's straight down the it is. That's her look. Well Are you sure you don't recognise her? They were all Francis's friends. I didn't really know them. They weren't in my gang. Christine Fletcher. You remember her? Well, she hung around with our set for a bit. Were you friends? Mr. Jordan was on much more intimate terms with her than I was. He didn't remember her. He said that? Yeah. Why did he send you to me? He didn't, actually. I've been doing a bit of my own detective work. I'm sorry, that's my next patient. If you could just wait here a moment. Hi. Sorry, am I early? Uh, I hear your memory's been playing up. Sorry? What I'm wondering is if it's selective amnesia or something neurological. What are you talking about? You don't remember Christine Fletcher. Who have you been talking to? Nick. Kieran Fletcher's in there. What are you doing here? Dr Lively seemed to think that you and my mother were quite intimate. Weren't you? Maybe I got it wrong. How dare you? rifle around in my past. I'm looking for my father. That means asking a few questions. Why does that make you so angry? I'm going to refer you to a hospital counsellor, Dr. Fletcher. I do not need to see a counsellor. Well, I think you would benefit from a session with him. Can we get on, please? I've got a busy day. I'm sorry, Dr. Fletcher, but I do have a meeting with Mr. Jordan, and we're pushed for time. You need to learn to leave your problems outside the workplace. I don't want to hear any more about this. Do you know what, Mr. Jordan? I think that maybe you need to see a shrink. <laughs> this is beyond rude. Maybe he forgot. Stop making excuses for him, eh? I think you need to see this guy for what he really is. I mean, there's only one thing that he's interested in, and that's himself. <sighs> this is ridiculous. We've got one flatmate that's too selfish to turn up, another one that's gone AWOL. Oh, come on, Yuki has a good excuse. But Kieran doesn't. He's getting two more minutes, and then that's it. Every Don't you ever send me a text like that again. You stood us up. I got caught up at the hospital. Yeah, well, you could have called. I, I'm sorry, OK? I, I had stuff going on. Oh, well, that's all right, then, cos we've got nothing better to do, yeah? Grow up. Get over yourself. There are bigger things going on than your insecure ego. Well, did you say? <laughs> Give me Lenny. the keys. Get in the car. No way. Keep an eye on where he goes. Come on. Oh. 
got you. Can you just slow down a bit, please? Look, it's fine, all right? Trust me. Just... That's right! Coming for you! I'm coming for you! Baby, shut up! Oh. I wasn't unconscious. You were unconscious. It was. You should have called an ambulance. I didn't he needs want to be one. And boarded. I didn't Jeff, want one. bring that trolley over I here. I don't need it. I'm fine. Right, get on that trolley, please. He's all right. Come on, let's get him on the trolley. <laughs> but I just, I now doubly in my charge. First as an F2, and now as a position. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> Keep his neck immobilised. Please, don't oh. argue, otherwise I will have you changing bedpans for the next six weeks. Right, let's give him five milligrams of morphine and a full trauma series. No! Yes, <laughs> especially as this is the second no. time you've been sick. No. You should have called an ambulance. Why don't you wear protective clothing? I usually do, actually. Well, why not today? Will you give me a break? Right, bring me the CT results when they're through, please. You two can spend the rest of the day picking out the gravel for his grazes to prevent tattooing. I'm sorry about what happened. I'm sorry I lost my temper, eh? This is ridiculous. I don't, I don't need a CT scan. I don't want one. You wouldn't let us do the trauma series. We have got to do the CT, all right? Just... I need to speak to Mr Jordan. Right. What surgeon? I'll tell you after. Sorry, uh, no, 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 nothing. Just, I thought I'd... What are you doing in here? I came to ask for a copy. Right, that's enough. Get out. Get back to the department and get yourself cleaned up. I'm sending you on compassionate leave for two weeks, and if you ever mention this again, you are out for good. Do you hear me? Dr. Fletcher? Kieran? Kieran, you okay? What is it? <laughs> Chest okay. pain. Uh, pulse. Uh, radio pulse seems strong. All right, strong. all right, Kieran. When did you have surgery, Kieran? Kieran, get the wheelchair. Move. All right, okay. It's okay. It's all right. I'm here now. I'm here. Well, I need CG. Get another cannula in, please, and send off the bloods. I need to see the CT from earlier. Yeah, he refused to have that done as well. He was in your care. Blood gases, please, Kat. Right, OK, he's hypertensive at 160 over 106, pulse 120, resps 20. Right. OK, so he's got increased blood pressure in his upper limbs, decreased in his lower limbs, 80 over 40. Let's see the mobile x-ray, please. Thank you, Wayne. Quickly, guys. Yeah. There's a murmur over the aortic area. Show me. It's sternotomy wires. Um, yes, of course. Look closer. The clue is there if you know what you're looking for. There. See? Notching on the underside of the ribs from the collaterals. That is specific to one thing. Do you know what that is? Coarctation. He had an unfair advantage over you in the quiz this morning. Mr Jordan, his BP's dropping. OK, come on, guys. Let's get him stabilised. Hematoma? There's also left ventricular hypertrophy. Why? Why? I don't get it. 
she you down in here? What if the accident exacerbated? What if the accident gave him a pseudo aneurysm? Gave him a pseudo aneurysm, exactly. So he's got acute coarctation syndrome due to the hematoma in the aortic wall. Brilliant. Well done. Good call. Okay, page vascular for me, please. Kieran, I'm going to send you up for surgery. You need your bleeding cleared up and they ought to fixed. Percutaneous. Exactly. They can go into the femoral artery using a covered stent. It's a lot less invasive than opening the chest the way you had it done before. Anyone would you like me to call? Friends? Family? It's just me. Did it go OK? Yes, it went very well. You just have to rest now and let it heal. <clears throat> Should be as good as new within a few weeks. Thank you. There is a story I remember about your mother, by the way. I just thought you might like to hear it. She would have been in her, uh, in her 20s, about your age. And there was a rumour that she um, broke into a college ball one night. She couldn't afford a ticket and all her friends were in there and... Um, well, there was a way into the grounds, but you had to climb up a high wall and across the kitchen roofs and down a tree and... It was dangerous. It was difficult. But she did it. In stilettos and a white dress. She danced with a broken heel and grass stains. But she danced all night. Thank you. Did your mother tell you anything about your father, about how they met or who he was? She said that he'd be a brilliant doctor. That he was a limited human being. She said that I had all of his better parts. None of his worse. And that we were both better off without him. Maybe she was right. Maybe. I can't pretend to know who your mother was, Kieran. That would be a lie. But I did... spend a little time with her once. Just once. That night. At the end of the gardens. After we climbed down the tree. Before we went to the dance. I'm sorry, I, I didn't no, mean no, to... No, 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 not at all. Um, it's not important, just... Uh... Uh. I don't believe it. Well, it's not certain, but it does seem pretty likely. Okay, should maybe get them to give you some proof then. He owes you that much at least, right? I need you to do something for me. Sure. I want to know for definite if you're my father or not. Either way, it will be a huge disappointment to you. Either way, it'll be a huge relief. Are you scared? No. No, I'm not scared. Good. I want you to do a DNA test. If that's what you want.